let's see. Okay, I requested all my friends. OMG, Hi. hello. I don't know how to do this. It's okay. I think I'm just gonna talk at you, and then you're gonna talk at me, and that'll be that'll be perfect. That'll Rad. be amazing. Sounds amazing. How are you? How has your December been? Good, good. I mean, like feeling lucky to be with my family right now. It's just like absolutely insane. Like so many of my friends are like, I haven't seen my like my sister in like seven months. So I'm like, yeah. yay! Like thank God. Um, but I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. You know, I'm on Instagram Live. I'm wearing <laughs> sunglasses. It could, it could be worse. Those are amazing. Thank you. I got them right before, and I decided to wear them for this. Um, OMG. Because I just needed to. I needed to embody their energy. You know. Totally. Um, but for all our viewers, talk about all my friends. How is it? What is it? Just tell us all about it. Yeah. So all my friends is it started as like a traditional mini zine, um, like fanzine that I made by hand in the summer of um, 2019. And then I kind of, it kind of found its own path and developed into an online and print platform for like young artists. Um, but yeah, we've made four issues. Um, we're putting out our fifth sometime in February. Um, and we just, you know hang out and have a good time that's awesome so that's yeah. what's coming next for all my friends is there any specific theme for that upcoming issue um we we're not sure yet we're not, we like to keep it we like to keep it on we like to stay on our toes um we are like collecting um a bunch of work and we're working with the brand for this issue which is really exciting um but yeah, we're like gonna not wing it, but wing it. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the way to go. Are you gonna print it at all, or is it only gonna be virtual? So we're planning on doing a like pretty limited edition of print, and then um, some online like free digital download situation. But it's gonna be our first time doing a digital download, um, so we'll see how it goes. I think it. I think I don't know. It's like a. I don't know how I feel about that because I like want everyone to be able to have in like like experience a zine, but like, does that mean it has to be physical or not? You know, so yeah, it'll be yeah. interesting. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. think about that all the time, especially even with this one. Like, we're gonna have it in PDF and uh, print or tan. Yeah, print. I was gonna say yeah. tangible, but same thing. And Nande is gonna handle like the printing because I put the whole zine together. And, um, you know, she's been like, how do I bind it? Like, where do I start? And I'm like, I don't know. You just got to, like, dive in, you know? But, like, totally. it's oh, it's so fun. It's so worth it. Oh, my God. Thank you. I <laughs> love these glasses. I wish I could give you all a pair. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, no, that's so cool. I've never heard of digital download before. How does that work? So we did. Okay, so. I um, went off the grid a little bit for a couple months this year. And, I remember um, that. Katie told me about yeah, that. Yeah. I, I kind of, I don't know. I'm in high school still, and my school has this program where you can basically, like, go to another school for a semester. Um, so I went to this school in Colorado, and it's, like, basically, like, backpacking for four months. That's awesome. Um, so I took a little, yeah, I took a little break from AMF. But um, while I was gone, Ava Hausner, who's our social media and, like, one of our editors, um she designed this like digital Halloween zine that you can like print out yourself and kind of like staple bind and like cut and just like, there you go. That's what you have. Um, so like that is, I think what we're planning on doing, but then it's like the PDF version too, where it's like you have the book, but it's just online. That's so sick. That's so smart. Actually. That's like so fun. Also, um, just because I have you here, are the shirts ever going to come back? Because I remember those shirts and they were so cute. Well, okay. We had a, it was a whole fiasco. It was this whole thing. We like ordered it at, from this sketchy, like online, like the cheapest place we could find that like was going to do what we wanted it to do. And we get the shirts and they're all the wrong color. Like oh. none of them are the color we ordered. And we were like, and then we were like, oh, can we please like have what we ordered? And he was like, no. And so now we have all these shirts. Um, we 
we sold out of the butterfly tea um and we still have some of, of the other ones but it like became like it, this is so much for shipping and like yeah this is just like a lot so um I don't know I think like I want to I really like them it was such a fun process but um I don't know merch is like a I wish I knew how to do that well you know like that's yeah, something that is just so foreign yeah yes. no merch is no easy feat I got a bedazzler and I've been bedazzling shirts but it actually takes so much time and I'm yeah. just like uh wish it was easy and like Pratt where I go to school usually has like silk screen studios and stuff open but right now they don't because covid so it's just yeah, kind totally. of like me winging it at home that's yeah. that's me winging it um yeah. but anyway uh just sort of as a final question in a way um when i interviewed katie for the zine i asked mm. her what collaboration meant to her because that's really like what we're trying to do with almanac is like bring a community of artists together and i feel like that's so similar to all my friends so I wanted to ask you what collaboration meant to you oh my gosh that's a big question well I, I think definitely like it's something that I like work at every day and like try to get better at because I find myself holding myself in like creatively sometimes and be like oh, I can do it all myself um so collaboration is definitely something like that all my friends has taught me to be like much better at and to like work towards um but I don't know, I think my favorite thing about AMF is that I see these people that like somehow have all come together and like just make such mind-blowingly amazing things. Um, so like being able to witness like that creativity come to life and like I like we have, there's a girl on our team who I went to like photography camp with when I was like 12 and now she's like working with like Lena, our video editor, and they're like making these crazy videos. And like, this is like exactly what I think of when like I think of collaboration. It's like people coming together and like making really great, great art. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean, that's that's literally exactly how I felt about making this. And it's so cool, too, to see like the overlap of like all these people's different like aesthetics and stuff. And I feel like totally. All My Friends does a really good job of like showing that in a way that's like accessible to like the jet like gen z i guess i don't know that we we are gen z you know? <laughs> uh, i'm like i don't know like i don't know guys yeah. like it's 2020 and it doesn't even feel like that so like don't oh, ask no. me but yeah it's really cool to see like the um you know the community that places like all my friends like built and i'm so happy that you guys could be a part of like our almanac community for this well thank thank you so much for having us this is like the greatest ever yeah thank you i'm so excited to like have everyone see it it's gonna be so cool i'm like gonna be the first person to purchase one yeah. i promise we'll get you we'll give you stickers too we're oh, um yes. we're working on the sticker component but as you said like merch pretty hard pretty it's hard pretty weird <laughs> yeah it's like Oh, and then there's this element that I didn't even think about. And there's this and there's this. So you guys got yeah. it, though. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Yeah. Thank okay. you. All right. Bye. Bye.